Welcome to day five of my daily routine on the five day holiday. Now this is my last day of holidays before I go back to work and hopefully inshallah tomorrow or the day after we are going to be blessed with the holy month of Ramadan. Now I know a lot of people are getting ready for Ramadan, getting all your recipes and everything and prepping for Ramadan but today I have nine recipes that I want to share with you guys which are really simple to make. They don't take too much time in the kitchen, about 10-15 minutes, max 20 minutes and these amazing dishes are ready. I do understand because of Ramadan, you know, you're going to be busy, you're going to be tired, you know, you don't want to be spending too much time in the kitchen. This is why I've created and picked nine of my best but simple, effective recipes which everybody is going to enjoy. So first, we're going to start off with the chapal kebab recipe. Now, this is a really simple way of creating chapal kebabs. As you guys can see, just, you know, you get the mince, you get all the raw ingredients, the tomatoes, onions, eggs, everything, mix it in, chop everything up, chop, 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 you know, give it a good cut and mix it nice and this is how you want the meat nice and sticky. Roll it up into a nice bowl and just put it in the pan and just press it out. Two chapal kebabs, three chapal kebabs like this are more than enough to feed a family of three, four people. Now this is a mouth watering recipe. Oi, 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 dosta, what am I saying to you? This is a bad boy recipe. We're going to be moving on to another simple but one of my favorite recipes, which is the bagel bun chicken fillet. So you get any chicken fillet, breast, thigh, thinly sliced, straight away what you want to do is you want to coat it with any southern fried masala, fry the chicken up until it's nice golden brown, you know, fry up the bagels or you can toast the bagels up, add your, you know, sauces or whatever to your accordance. So like, I like mayonnaise, ketchup, you know me, that's how I roll. And just add the ketchups. Now we want to add the cheese on, add some avocados on, and there you go. We have the mouth watering, but simple bagel bun recipe. Now moving on to the third recipe, which is the mini chicken tikka wraps. This is another favorite of mine. You know, really simple. You want to add all the spices, diced up chicken, mix it up and throw it in the hot pan straight away. No overnight marinating, no wasting time. Straight to the pan, chop up some onion, add some mint sauce for the garnish. Chicken is ready. You know, you want to fire up the, the titias. Add your sauces, mayonnaise, you know, add the onions, add the chicken tikka and add some cheese. You can add sliced cheese or you can add any other salads you want and, you know, add your sauces and there you go. You have the mini chicken tikka wraps. This is something that the kids will love and enjoy and it's a really simple recipe which does not take much time. Now we are going to go on to the lamb chops, the mutton chops. The mutton chops are my favorite. They are everybody's favorite. You know, you marinate everything and just, you know, mix everything up. This is what I'm talking about. You just mix it up and straight under the grill. You don't need to put this stuff in the fridge overnight. If you want to, you can. But the whole point of this recipe is getting it done under 10, 15 minutes straight away. So here the mutton chops are ready, just garnish them. You can have this with pitas, you can have it with naan, you can have them on their own, you can have it with rice, you know. Um, it is what it is, it's another simple but one of my favorite recipes, the mutton chops, juicy, loosey, those start a big bite on that. Moving on to another one of my favorite recipes, which is another simple one, 
mutton ribs with egg fried rice this is strongly recommended or you can have mutton chops with egg fried rice or you could cook the chicken and have it with egg fried rice so you know we're gonna marinate the ribs quick thing marinate once the ribs are marinated as i always say we want to just put everything straight under the grill straight away grill the mutton chops up until they are cooked nice golden brown all the way through now what we want to do is we want to get the egg fried rice ready and garnish the plate with the egg fried rice as a base and put the mutton ribs on top and oi 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 what am i saying to you are gonna love this this is a ramadan special so moving on to everyone's favorite now this is something that i guarantee and you know and i know chicken wings chicken wings the kids love them barbecue specials restaurant specials so this is the marinade you want to marinate the wings on the spot once the wings are marinated straight under the grill if you want to leave them overnight that is up to you but if you don't have time the whole point of this recipe is marinate the stuff if you don't have time and you want to cook it straight away under the grill you know 10 15 minutes 10 minutes tossing and turning and this is how the wings are going to come out nice juicy golden brown full of flavors garnish the wings with whatever you like we are lemon some chilies and you know it is what it is it's the chicken wings baby oi 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 juicy lucy i am loving it bro this is one of my best recipes this is now i want to move on to another special recipe is a chicken fillet burger i know you know everybody loves a nice chicken fillet burger so same again same spices we're gonna marinate the chicken fillets thinly cut this is what you need you need to ask the butcher to thinly cut the chicken breast thin slices so where you could put two slices in a bun maybe three thin slices makes it nice and interested you want to marinate the chicken and put it straight under the grill no time wasting or you can cook it in a frying pan it's entirely up to you how you want to cook it but this time i am cooking it under the grill until it's nice golden brown i've got the buns ready with the onion salad on there add the sauces the toppings of your choice what you like and there you go we have the chicken fillet bun ready moving on to another simple recipe where you just are really tired and you don't want to do much is the mutton roast you can cook your chicken like this as well exactly the same way you know just marinate the roast the marinate the chicken remember you have to do everything with a love with a passion you have to enjoy what you're doing so we're marinating everything i'm gonna mix everything up because i like my mutton quite spicy especially when it's roasted roasted stuff needs to be spicy everything is marinated put it straight into the oven boys you know, for an hour on a high heat we're taking the mutton out and this is what i'm talking about boys gonna finish the mutton off oi 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 that body mutton aloo you can add carrots to this you can add any other vegetables that you like and you prefer last but not least this is my number one recipe my favorite top i would say this is my top three this is the steam fried chicken so you marinate the chicken give it a good coating on the spot don't need to leave it steam it for about 30 minutes 40 minutes once the chicken is steamed we want to make another yogurt mix which is a separate marinade mix everything up add the chicken to a tava and then you want to put the marinade mix all over the chicken and just cook everything through making sure the chicken goes nice and crispy on the outside and what am i saying to you dosta mare mus pani idea this is a bad boy ramadan special i think this is something that you guys need to cook on e and trust me when the guests do come they are gonna love this recipe these 
were nine of my favorite but simple recipes not taking too much time in the kitchen i strongly recommend that you guys definitely try these recipes at home in ramadan so for the next at least out of the 30 ramadans out of the 30 fasts you've got nine special but different things that you want to try and cook all these recipes are on my channel bdn vlogs and you can go and check out the full recipes if you can uh, if you get an idea on how to cook from these short videos you know fair enough it's really simple but if you do want the full recipe to follow you can definitely go on the channel and check out the recipes the full recipe and you cannot go wrong with these easy peasy recipes i'm telling you your kids are gonna love it your husband's gonna love it and if the husbands are cooking for the family your wives your wife your children everyone is gonna love your cooking simple but effective so i strongly recommend that you try at least these nine recipes in ramadan and get your taste buds going now if you fancy a takeaway i have three takeaways for you which you cannot go wrong at number one i'm going for the smash burgers from fat joe's no doubt about it fat joe's does the best smash burgers in birmingham i don't think anyone does better smash burgers than fat joe's so check out fat joe's he is smashing burgers all day long his chicken strips go really nice with the burger meal and the chips best joint simple food but really effective really tasty and it's not food that you eat and it gets you bloated as it is good quality stuff so fat jones at spark brook somalia town check them out big shout out to suhail gani big shout out to suleiman gani after fat jones if you want something with a twist you want to go and check out Takis. Takis is another joint that I've recently come across and what am I saying to you boys they are another top 10 probably in the number one position as they do everything on the char grill so they're not using gas they're not using electric they're cooking all their foods on a charcoal grill which gives the which enhances the flavor smokes everything out and it chars everything out as you guys can see the burgers the food the donna is just amazing they do two types of donners here they do a barbecue donner and also they do the hot chili donner you cannot go wrong with takis they have a much bigger variety of food available then Fat Joe's, as Fat Joe's specializes in smash burgers, you've got a choice. You got more stuff, more variety at Takis, and if you want a good quality takeout, I would strongly recommend that you go and check out Takis, especially the Dana. Look at him flipping that Dana. Those start this Dana is really juicy. And the chicken strips when it comes to the strips as i said because it's cooked on the charcoal it just enhances the flavor and just tops everything up nicely the chicken wings the chicken strips everything at takis is full of flavors and explodes in your mouth on every single bite so takis is at the number two position to definitely check out for good quality if that now moving on Janaid's everybody knows Janaid's Janaid's is a grow up shop for everyone a lot of people know about Janaid's if you know you know if you don't know you don't know it's under new management and they are turning out some good food good management there they are getting creative and they are 
busy. So if you wanna go to a local chip shop, I recommend that you check out Junaid's. They also do the barbecue diner. Obviously, everyone knows the barbecue diner was started off by the Lacard father family, but uh, now it's just been, you know, carried on by many shops out there. Everyone have their own versions of doing it, but it is our local. Jenaid's does do the best cheeseburger meals. They do the best chicken fillet burger meals. Here, he's got the chicken peri peri burger meals going on. He's got a good variety, good fresh food, cooking, churning out. So check out Jenaid's as well if you fancy the local chip shop. Otherwise, I want to say a happy Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem to all my viewers, everybody out there. I hope you guys have a blessed month. I hope you guys all, you know, go through Ramadan and Allah SWT blesses all of you in this blessed month. This month comes once a year. The biggest mistake that we make is we eat too much food. A lot of people, when they come out of Ramadan, they actually gain a lot of weight. The whole point of Ramadan is eat enough to, you know, to fill the, fill the stomach and to survive on and to feel the struggle of the striving, you know, the poor. We do take the, you know, mick when it comes to Ramadan and have these big, huge feasts every day which you know it just you know it just spoils the purpose of ramadan so just keep it simple have simple food quick food and just you know i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses all of you through ramadan and you have a blessed month and i will be vlogging through ramadan as well and i will be you know checking out some new recipes some new easy recipes for you guys and just getting creative you gotta understand i will be fasting as well i've got a full-time job as well so i'm not really gonna be too active but i will try my best and you know vlog as much as i can in ramadan otherwise i will see you on eid and you know as i said ramadan mubarak to all my muslim brothers and sisters out there